The Land Transport Authority will complete the advanced engineering study for the Cross Island Line around 2022. And this comes two days after the Ministry of Transport announced that a section of Singapore's latest MRT line will run directly under Singapore's largest nature reserve. And experts we spoke to say Singapore has the experience and expertise to dig deep. But they say that this project will come with its own set of challenges. Careful planning and consideration will have to go into constructing the Cross Island Line. It will run 70 metres under the Central Catchment Nature Reserve, making it the deepest underground MRT tunnel in Singapore. One expert says it will involve rigorous scenario planning and simulation, especially when it comes to groundwater control. Maybe we will face some uncertain uh, geological or hydrological issues that would be, that would be uncontrollable. So, in this situation, maybe we need to uh, create some scenarios to uh, try to uh, simulate what would be the uh, underground water, how it flows, and maybe some of the uh, soil uh, movement in this situation. Another expert CNA spoke to says Singapore is no stranger to deep tunneling operations. We have existing railway projects here that go under uh, water bodies, so the downtown line goes under Marina Bay. That's been operational for several years. Thompson East Coast Line will pass under Marina Bay. The tunneling works has been complete for that. Of the four kilometer route for the direct alignment option, two kilometers will run under the reserve. Engineers will have to tunnel through granite, which is stronger than concrete. In terms of stability, experts say deeper tunnels have the benefits of being stiffer and more competent. Although tunneling under a nature reserve is uncommon in Singapore, Mr McGowan says there are precedents worldwide. It's very, very common in Hong Kong and other parts of the world, UK and Europe. Many of Hong Kong's lines pass under nature reserves. More broadly, challenging considerations like these are not unique to population-dense Singapore. Studies show that given growing urbanisation worldwide, integrating nature conservation into urban planning is a fine line many governments will have to tread in creating vibrant and livable cities.